I'm sorry if there's a glare, there's a car outside and the windscreen is making it glare on to my face. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing the difference between a vet and a vet nurse so they're two completely different roles and no one seems to get that everyone seems to think because a vet nurse trains to be a vet nurse that they want to become a vet that is completely wrong um, we actually become vet nurses because we want to be vet nurses nothing more than a vet nurse we are happy within our jobs I would hope anyway and we don't want to be vets I will put it straight out there I do not want to be a vet and I don't know how many times I need to tell people that but it seems to be a reoccurring thing so I thought I would just get to the point and make a video about it I have got a list of the roles and responsibilities that I have made myself so obviously they're not all going to be on there but there's quite a few of the nurse and a vet so to summarise a vet nurse does everything a vet can do just they do not diagnose and they assist with procedures and um, surgery and things so they're not actually the ones that do the surgery but we will assist however we can do some certain um, procedures but I'll get into that once I've listed the roles and responsibilities so for a nurse I have put down give injections and medications nurse the patient i.e monitor health and let surgeon know how the patient is doing nurse consults which include flea and worming weight clinics behavior health checks second vaccinations and other vaccinations if the vet surgeon has instructed admitting and discharging and post-op checks set up for procedures and surgeries administer iv fluids health checks and monitor vitals triage wound management non-invasive surgeries such as ear flush wounds that jabs castrates exp exploratories i think that's how you say it i don't know such as like grass seed and foot we can explore that area with whatever instruments we need to be able to try and get that grass seed out um procedures such as cts x-ray mris and things um dentals as well um, but we cannot extract teeth that is something the vet surgeon has to do um, ECCs which means emergencies and critical care um, anesthetics monitor patient under general anesthetic cleaning there is a lot of cleaning involved a lot <laughs> taking blood placing cannulas place urinary catheters lab work i.e. blood and urine running we also dispense medications, restrain, intubate, restrain and raise being, sorry, restrain and raise vein and assist with PTSs, which is put to sleep. Um, so when a patient comes in, they need to be put to sleep. Um, we will assist with the procedure, but we do not give the youth the towel or whatever it is your surgeon will give unless instructed by the vet surgeon. We run poppy classes, we can make notes on the accounts and price up meds, we do pre and post up calls, reception work and much much more. Now the vet does all of that as well, other than the cleaning. It's very rare you will see a vet clean up their mess. Very rare. Um, I've also put on the vet side diagnose, diagnosing, prescribing, carrying out procedures um, and surgical procedures tell the nurse the plan for the patient so then the nurse will um, use that plan and apply it diagnostic tests they can do all consulting um, lab work oversees everything the nurses do so the nurse must feed back to the vet on how a patient is um, so if any changes need to be made the vet surgeon can do that and instruct the nurse to do that um, ECCs emergency and critical care places cannulas and blood taking can give the induction agent whereas nurses cannot at this precise moment however there is talk about nurses being allowed to do that in future um, but it's not confirmed yet um, euthanasia nurses can only do this on a vet surgeon's instruction paperwork they have lots of paperwork to get through unfortunately so yeah they have a lot of paperwork to do <laughs> 
um, dispensing meds, they can actually prescribe Pom V medication, which is what the vet surgeon is only allowed to prescribe. So if you're, you take a patient into a vet and they need antibiotics, that will usually be a Pom V medication. So only the veterinary surgeon can um, prescribe that. However, again, the RCVS are talking currently about the roles and responsibilities of nurses and allowing them to do that in the near future. Um, also reading and reporting results, we don't do that. Um, I can't, I can barely read an x-ray to be quite honest with you. Um, I kind of know what's going on, but the vet knows it more in depth. Um, so yeah, um, and notes and working, price workups. So um, yeah, basically to put it in a shortened way, um, a shortened list, the vet nurse can do everything a vet surgeon can do. However, a vet surgeon can diagnose, do the nitty gritty surgeries. Um, and they are in charge of your vet nurses. So everything the vet tells the vet nurse to do, the vet nurse has to go and do. Um, so everything we do is under the instruction of a vet surgeon. Um, a lot of people are under the impression the vet does everything and the nurse just, you know, holds your dog for a minute and that's it. Or, you know, cuddles the dogs. If you saw my previous video, you will know I went on a bit of a rant and we do not cuddle dogs for a living. I so wish it was that. I really do. Um, but it is not. So just to put it lightly, we do not cuddle dogs for a living. It is not like that. If you heard that list and you sat through that list, you will know for sure we do not cuddle dogs for I wish it was as easy as that. That would be a really nice job to have, but it's not that at all. But just bear in mind that the vet surgeon and the vet nurse do a lot of the same things, but there are a few things which are slightly different of which the vet surgeon can only carry out. Um, you'll find that the, as a day-to-day -day thing, the nurse will come in, take the handover um, from the out of hours, if there is one, um, and then they will relay that back to the vet surgeon who is on inpatient say um, and then they will give a plan for what they want that, that patient to have and then the nurse will apply that and do that throughout the day and then we'll go back to the vet surgeon with updates if they're worried, if there's something that's changed, um, if they think it could do with more say pain relief then um, we will go to the vet surgeon and say that and then it's the vet surgeon's decision whether they want to change anything, whether they want to add anything, whether they want to take something away, they will do that. So really I'm really lucky to be a student vet nurse and I feel like I'm I love my job and I feel like I do so much with that patient I s almost see it through if that makes sense which I really enjoy I like to see from beginning to end I don't want to do procedures so unless of course we are told we can do certain procedures I'd like to learn them um, but I don't want to do the nitty-gritty surgeries where you'll you know I don't know taking out a lump or something that is not why I that is why I do not want to be a surgeon is because I don't enjoy that stuff I enjoy doing the anesthesia of the surgeries and I enjoy monitoring the patient and making sure it is alive and healthy and doesn't die on you I enjoy that although it's a huge 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 responsibility um, everyone's very different. Everyone enjoys different parts of nursing. My favourite is inpatient care. Um, so yes, the nurse does lots more than people realise. Um, yeah, we, we do a lot more than people realise. There's not really a lot more to go through other than the fact just be aware that the vet doesn't do everything. Like they can do everything if they want to, but they won't. Without, without the nurse, the vet can't do their job. I think it's just being aware that this perception of vets and nurses is so different to what it actually is. Um, so just be mindful of that and just be nice to your nurses and your vets because they equally have so many responsibilities and um, they are very depended on by the clients and the patient of course. Everything I listed is correct. So giving medications and injections, I said that a nurse and a vet do. The vet will tell you what medication they want that patient to have and the nurse will give it however they want the vet wants it given, whether that's IM, subcut or um, IV.
nurse the patient, we are responsible for, you know, monitoring the health of that patient, reporting back to the surgeon with updates. Nurse consults, we do so many nurse consults, sit up for procedures, if there is say a castrate coming in that day or a lump removal or an amputation or an orthopaedic surgery of some kind, we will set up everything, we will get everything prepared so that when the vet surgeon comes in he can just get on with it and do it and everything's ready. Um, we also scrub in as well, so if the vet surgeon needs help with something, we can scrub in, get our gear on and go and help with the surgery. Administer IV fluids, we are required to, uh, they will tell us what they want and we will work it out and then put the, run the fluids through and put it on and attach it to the patient. Health checks and monitor vitals, that is an everyday thing anyway, we will do that throughout the day. Triage, if an emergency comes in and the vet is busy, we will check that patient over. Um, if we think it needs something, we will do it. Um, we will triage it. Say it's got a wound on its foot, we can triage by dressing it or cleaning it, etc. Wound management, same thing. We will um, monitor the wound, um, report back to the vet surgeon um, and apply what they tell us to do. Non-invasive surgeries, ear flushes and things, we can do all those. Castrates, um, we can do castrates technically but not many nurses do because you just know the vet will do it a lot quicker than we will. Um, we can do ex exploratories, I can't say that word, yeah, i.e. grass seed. Um, so if there's something that comes in and the vet's busy, we can actually do that procedure. Um, we do a lot of x-raying, um, as nurses we do do a lot of x-raying, so the vet will normally say what they want x-rayed and then we will go and do it in different views. Um, emergency and critical care, I'm currently working with a um, out of hours, um, local to where I live and I'm loving it, it is emergency and it is critical care, it's emergency services, so um, you see a lot of different stuff to a normal everyday practice. Anaesthetics, we are the anaesthetists. People are shocked at this quite a lot of time. We are the anaesthetists. Um, so we monitor that patient, keeping it alive on the table. Obviously we've got the vet there. If we're worried about something, we will relay it to them. During the procedure, normally you'll hear the vet nurse go, okay, vitals are this. And the vet surgeon will say whether they want the volatile agent turned up or down. Um, but normally the vet nurse is quite good at just doing it themselves anyway. Um, lots of cleaning, lots of scrubbing of kits, lots of tidying up theatre. Taking bloods, we will do that if the vet surgeon's busy, we can do that anyway. Um, you'll find that most animals that come in will need their bloods taking. Placing cannulas, nice and easy. Um, before a procedure you need to place that cannula so you can give the agents that you want to. Drawing your catheters we can also place. Lab work, lots of blood running and things, um, intubating, so that is when we put the tube into the throat of the patient, that is undergoing um, procedures and things. Um, we assist with put to sleep procedures um, and we can give the, a the drug that is putting that patient to sleep if the vet surgeon asks us to. Um, pre and post op calls, so that's when the patient has had a procedure, we will call them prior to it and after it as well, um, just to make sure that they are happy with everything said and everything done. Um, reception work, often we will cover for reception if they need to, because we're quite good on the phone and things. Um, and then yes, as I said before, the vet surgeon can do all of that as well, just the extra things they can do is diagnosis and the horrible procedures which are um, in the body cavity, so we aren't allowed to do stuff that is in the body cavity, um, technically. As you can tell, we do a lot of the similar things, and I've stated what the vet does other than that. Um, we all work long hours, we're all very similar, and we treat each other as equals, because there might be one thing a vet knows that a vet nurse doesn't, but there's also one thing a vet nurse knows that a vet doesn't. So it goes both ways. Uh, I hope this cleared that up slightly for you. <laughs> the amount of times I get asked, when are you becoming a vet? Or I'll tell my family or something, oh, I'm becoming a vet nurse. Uh, they'll say, what are you doing at uni? And I'll tell them. And they'll say, oh, so you want to become a vet? And you just 
you want to bang your head against the wall it's not how it works so please don't ask those nurses those student nurses if they want to become a vet because i can guarantee that they do not and if they do that is one in a million i'm telling you but same as human nurses normally they want to just be a human nurse not a human doctor it just does my head in when people ask me when i am becoming a vet i do not in the slightest want to be a vet um i wouldn't want to have to carry out the intense procedures that vets do have to carry out um so i will keep as far away as becoming a vet as i can um and also i am just so happy with him being a vet nurse i wouldn't want to be anything else it works really well for my lifestyle and it's what i want to do so i will continue to be a vet nurse and i will not become a vet because that's not what i want to do i hope it's cleared up some of those um gray areas that not everyone's familiar with if you did enjoy it give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below um and i guess i will see you in next week's video do not forget to go and follow my instagram i will leave it down below as well and don't forget to subscribe down below and i will see you next time bye